guys so the first thing that you guys picked on Instagram was the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer so I'm just applying that all over my face and then the foundation that you guys picked was the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect foundation I'm almost out of this one actually I do need to pick up a new one because it is one of my favorite foundations I, I love it and I'm just blending it out with the Beauty Blender then for cream contour, I am using the ColourPop New Renaissance Stick, which I don't actually think you can get anymore. I didn't realize when I posted the poll on Instagram, so I am sorry about that. But they do have very similar ones. You just have to have a look on their website. So I'm applying it to all the general areas that I want to recede on my face and blending them out using my Beauty Blender once again. I decided to just do my whole face, which normally I don't do, but I just decided I wanted to. Um, so for concealer, I'm using the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW20. Haven't used this concealer in such a long time. I really do like it. I forgot how much I do like it. So blending it out with the pointier end of my Beauty Blender, and I applied it to my eyelids as well. And then to set everything down, you guys chose the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. So I used an F64 for all the smaller areas and then switched over to an F10 brush for the bigger parts of my face. Then for my contour, you guys chose the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dolce. Dolce de Leche. Oh, I cannot speak different languages. I have no accent. I'm terrible. Um, so I'm applying that using an F05 brush just to all of the areas where I pretty much applied the cream contour. And then I just use my beauty blender to carve out underneath the contour a little bit more and blend out around my forehead. Then for blush, you guys chose Warm Soul from MAC, which is like a nice glowy, bronzy, beautiful blush. And then for highlight, you guys chose the Becca highlight in the shade Opal. This one's like a little sample size. Um, so obviously when you buy it, you get the big one. But yeah, um, I do like this one except for when you're not facing the light. It kind of gives like a gray cast. It's really hard to explain, but other than that, I do love it. Then moving on to the eyes, I used some of my rainbow tape from Kmart just to create a sharp edge which I this is when I really should have done my eyes first because it tore off all my concealer but I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I'm taking it this like tan shade and using it as a sort of transitional shade then I'm taking this more camely shade all the shades will be listed in order down below by the way and then moving on to this like really burnt red matte shade i'm using a mac 217 and i just really packed it on in the outer corner and then blended it more so into the inner corner then i just quickly switched back to the e40 i originally used just to blend out the edges and then i am picking up some of this dark brown matte shade and i'm just using the same mac 217 just kind of creating a little bit of dimension by adding that to the outer corner where we applied the red and then just doing the same thing basically. Then I'm going in with the black from the shade which I am taking on an E20. Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> so I just applied that to the edge of the tape and then I sort of like blended it out so it was smoky in the outer corners. Then I took this light bronzy shade on my finger and I just applied this all over my eyelids. And then I took the shade that was next to that which is a lot lighter and kind of more cool toned and brighter and just applied that into the very inner corner. And then just took my 217 once again with no product and blended out the edges. Then for winged liner, I used the Sigma Liquid Liner Pen. This is the first time using it and I did really like it actually. It's quite black and 
fairly matte so I created a wing and then pulled off my tape and then ugh, I had to blend it out with my beauty blender where the tape was and then I applied a little bit more highlighter because it had taken away all of that highlight so yeah not not a smart move on my behalf then onto the lower lash line I took that burnt red shade once again on my 217 from MAC and just buff that underneath the lower lash line and then I mix those two shades the brown and the black together on an E20 and just applied those to the outer third of the lower lash line then I just quickly used my 217 to blend out the edges and then I took this highlight shade from the palette on a Sigma E30 I love this shade from this palette it is so beautiful I highlighted my inner corners and then I highlighted my brow bone as well and then I just took a little bit more of that shade that I used on the lid, that bronzy shade, and I just applied that to the inner third of the lower lash line. Then I'm just going in with a model's prefer coal pencil in my tight line and my waterline just to make it nice and smoky. And then the mascara you guys chose was the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid mascara. I feel like I said that really weird. And then the falsies I applied were the Ardell Glamour Wispies. Um, you, the, in the end, the votes were more for natural, but when I put them on, it was for glamour, so who can blame me? Then for lips, you guys chose ColourPop Aquarius Lip Liner and Lippy Stick, so I lined my lips and then I completely filled them in. I love this lip colour. And that completed, oh no, and then I just gave my face a quick spritz of MAC Fix Plus in pink light. And then that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Like a big pizza pie, that's my